me, myself and I, they provide uh, day services, firstly, for um, people who have dementia and they also support their family members and the community generally. So what they're looking at is providing more, so bringing a community hub together where more services can get involved. So they're looking at the wider um, effects of dementia and the effects on the family and the community and everybody talking more, everybody being, being more cooperative and collaborating together really and uh, listening and therefore delivering services that matter. We're empowering people and we're asking them what do they want? And they said they wanted people not to label them, they wanted people to listen. And I thought, well, of course, why, why not? This is what everybody wants. What we're trying to achieve is for everyone to be equal. So, and I do get a sense of that here, working here. You know, everybody does, everybody's the same, whether they work here, it doesn't matter what qualifications they've got. We all, we're all equal, we're all human beings. And regardless of where we are in our life, we don't want the staff and the guests, we want, it, we want us all to be one and we want them to come here feeling that they won. And I said to them, well, this is a chance now for me to run an academy where I can change culture, but I can ask the guests if they would help me because they're the experts. They're still the lovely, skilled and knowledgeable people, except they've got a bit of memory loss, that's all. Me, myself and I um, board contacted the Wales Co-op Centre to talk to Care to Cooperate about how they could alter their governance or change their governance structure to involve more people in how they directed their um, services and how they um, decided what services to deliver and get more involved and have more say. So we suggested that they become an association model which meant that they could have a membership and with the membership then, the members would have um, more involvement in the governance and they would have a vote and they would have more say, which in that case makes it more cooperative in its practice. So really, as far as the Wales Corporate Centre goes, they're fantastic. You know, they really helped us and we realised from what they were saying, they were the ones with the expertise who could help us. So we told them about our project and what we were doing and they've been fantastic. They've helped us develop, develop our strategy to be on the right lines because we're not business experts, we're social care, you know. So my business planning is not very expert. Everything we've asked them, they've either found a man who can or they've helped us ourselves. It's been brilliant. When we, when Andrew first had, was diagnosed, I thought it was doom and gloom. Not now, we've got a future. And this is our future because of the, 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 the force that we've got here and the, the, you know, the, the coming together and, and you know, that means a lot to me. Uh, the thing about Care to Cupboard is we work together, we worked in partnership and I call it a real co-production because it's almost like a circle where we've all helped each other and every time I've got a question they're just there to guide us, you know, and I don't know how we'd manage without them. They've sort of put us on the track where we can steer ourselves a bit better and it's been great. I'm very grateful.